beleza? Aqui quem fala é o Leas, estou aqui no começo do vídeo para pedir duas coisas importantes aqui para vocês, para ajudar o canal. A primeira é deixar um like aí no vídeo, aqui embaixo, vai ajudar demais o feedback. E a segunda é se inscrever no canal, que estamos com a meta aí de 200 mil inscritos, fechou? Tamo junto, rapaziada, espero que curta o conteúdo aí, e é nóis! Galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Leas, tô aqui no começo do vídeo só pra apresentar pra vocês o Sesco Fest, mano, patrocinador fiel aqui do canal e graças à força de vocês liberaram mais um dólar pra todo mundo que utilizar o cupom Aleas. Caso você queira depositar qualquer coisa e continuar aqui jogando aqui no site, mano, não esqueça de utilizar o cupom Aleas e utilize também o link, sempre o link na descrição, fechou? Tamo junto, galera, e bora pro vídeo. Yeah, just looking at the percentages of how... The teams are approaching these pistol rounds and Skulls takes Vinny, the first, but they have a check in the second oh, and no. now they will. Vinny gets away with it though, but Zebby is somehow, somehow taking down Fur as well. But Vinny is making this double stack work, he's How's he still alive? alive and finally will go down. But he set up his team with a real shot and back Zebby... Of hard Zao. And Bolts, he is known to be a decent anchor with the 5-7 and just an HE. I don't think he'll be getting much done here and indeed Skulls make light work of him. Figuzera helps himself towards a B bomb site. Excellent first shot, round over. Just fallen now, looking for potentially an exit frag or saving the Deagle. Thankfully, he's got $700. He didn't fully invest into this one. Opted to be without armor. Yeah, this is uh, a strong showing, but look at that. He's got an AK. Take him for just a moment. Short lived in his hands. They are going to be bringing in the Molotovs, the smokes, the flashbangs over the top. It's fallen to defend. Easy shot the first one. So they're trying to get ahead of the utility here, but Bolt's fallen going to town. But there is a reply from that Galil. Yeah, Hard Sal is going to be moving through towards the back of the site. So much pressure, but Bolt's handles it for at least a second longer. Gets another kill. And that can make a big difference because that kill puts Imperial ahead. Of the position towards the tunnel, trying to take him down piece by piece, doing minimal damage and missed shots coming through. No one can seem to find a kill, but there it is. So he's Finally. He's do he did this a lot when we seen him play Dust 2 earlier in the tournament. PKL is going to try and get up short, but oh, the sound cue might Swing just... Have, oh, yes, of course, Fur gets aggressive. Of course he would, and he gets away with the kill too. Yeah, as soon as you hear the Molotov flying through, you've got about a half a second window there to fight or flight, and it will be, of course, a fight from Fur. Bolt's looking strong as ever. You talked about him being that anchor player for this team, and he's delivering on all fronts right now, finding those kills where required. B bombsite has been locked down. Oh, Zevi's done. Fantastic work to take out Cello, at least keeping him within this round. Still 50 seconds to play with and a decent amount of utility for Pain Gaming as they cross over the CT smoke. And you can try and put some pressure down on the B site and currently waiting inside of that B bomb site alone is Bolts. Bomb making his way up towards Shaw, however. So this is Are a you going to go through moment. window with an off? Th this is easy for Bolts, really. Yeah, bomb guaranteed, but can he stand and deliver? In the three versus one. No utility to work with. I think maybe a single flashbang. That's it. And unfortunately, Vinny arrives at the scene of the crime, ready for a defuse, a second, or at least get a Molotov towards the back platform. We'll see how it works out for him. Skulls is just waiting, but the double dunk has just taken everything away from them in the round. <laughs> Damage <laughs> done for Cello. Bulls just sends the nade on in, and they're running away now. Bombs away. Yeah, that is definitely an apt term for that situation. Wow. Well, there it is. Tactical air situation for them right now. We'll see if Zevi can open things up. We are, oh, not the number Zevi. Oh, no. They're getting mowed down. Why do they keep going to B? Well, maybe they're masochists. Uh, Shello, <laughs> he's enjoying this one. Guys, this isn't working. Stop challenging this side. They might be able to take him down eventually, but no. Another clean sweep. Uh, but apparently, they can't get enough of it. The pain oh, is does. real as Bolts gets another double kill upon arrival here. But finally, they break through a three on three. A winnable round now. To go through if they continue to go for this one. 40% left on oh, that bomb. Skulls is gone though. He peaked. Give for a chance, but you still have to move quite quickly. Very rightly pointing out the timer on the bomb and they run on in, but doesn't really feel like there's even enough time, even if you get this kill. And Big yeah, Vinny for the first time going to be tested against this. Up to smoke and dies. Big Uzera catches him while blinded. And Fur will have to try and pick up the scraps. Nate's not good. It's a bit of a fumble here. Quite awkward, but luckily, from afar, it is Fallen trying to hold back. Outside of Long, just patrolling any sort of flanks. Bolts needs to just do the unthinkable here, and he does a lot of damage, but his team Couple. kills come in. So it is a two versus three. Skulls is towards middle two, so there's actually only two players inside the bomb site right now. And Fallen goes through the window, gets the kill. Burns away, though, to Zevi. And now the plant will come in. Reminder that Cello still has an AWP, so winning this one versus two and the flight. No! Oh, he turns, he reads it, and now it's down to 1v1. Going for the no scope. Still alive, but PKL will stop the pain train at least. Both sides. 
A commitment coming through. Molotov deployed toward the site itself. Vinny will extinguish. Wow. And the MP9 going oh. to town there. The team kill once again. Fallen trying to fight for his life there. And he's doing an exceptional job. Maintaining the advantage here. Three versus three. So much damage inflicted. Ferb, he finds one. That could be the round. Look at the time remaining. Six seconds. Job done. And the MP9s are victorious. Yeah, that's great work again. Fallen towards long. Just holding on. Finding some massive impact. Impact on the SMG, even though it's just the one enough to really stifle them in pain. Just overthinking it. They're, they're gonna get flanked right now, Henry. This is about to be a massacre. Oh, turns around. Zevi reads they it. They might not expect to, though. Yeah, that's the thing. Fallen is the other player they have to be aware of, but now they know he's there. And he has just taken one down. It's hard sell that hits the deck. One of the pistols gone, and the rifle hunts him down. So two players out. Imperial's flank does not work, and jump, Fur's jump. not in a position to really deny this, but go. he goes for the jump, and that's the only way he stops it, and he actually makes it work. Ten seconds left. He could go for it again. Fur with another kill. And now it's just one player left. It's PKL, but he's hit the headshot, but Bolts will close it out. Attack. Crisscross smokes deployed toward middle. AWP missing out on the first shot, but remember, Fur was there the entire time. He is dropped out, gets around in the Fallen, and equal trades back to a three on three. Bolts is doing so much work from the back platform again. Finds the gap out the right side, and he's just buying time now. Trying to pull them into the fight, and they eventually will take him out. 40 seconds. Two versus two established here for Pain Gaming, and now they just have to hold on in the post plant. They're trying to split this retake from two avenues of approach. One from the tunnels, and that's going to be successful. Vinny immediately gets the headshot, and PKL <laughs> turns him. Here comes the final commitment. Smolotov's deployed and smokes. Yeah, Fallen's got to short two, but he's gone. PKL hit the headshot perfectly onto the offer, and now they've got some space into the site again. Pain Gaming wants more up a player, and they're going to start planting the bomb straight away. This is a difficult round now for Imperial. One that you might I, not consider going for. Well, Vinny kind of has to. He is really stranded in yeah, no man's land right now. <laughs> so trying to help them out. The jump shot's being attempted once again. Oh. Vinny does somehow get away with a kill there towards Gandalf. And we're back to a three versus three. Anyone's round, but surely the advantage with Pain Gaming. Skull confirms it. Zevi chiming in as well. And poor old Burb. Nothing he can do about that one. Cello on the AWP this time. And he'll be tested, but misses the shot at him. And it's going to be an absolute disaster. This time at the B-bomb site. They've been so strong on that side of the map, but no response this time. Very aggressive. And Zevi chiming in for the third frag of the round. Call this one done. Yeah, well, you can't save this one, Imperial. But I don't think they'll be close to doing anything with this as they throw the kitchen sink at them from outside. And uh, here we go. Zevi looking for the final couple of frags here. Great turnaround for Pain Game. Yeah, the team names, just for the confusion at home, are the other way around. So just keep note of that. It is indeed Imperial on the attacking side on the left-hand side of your screen, and there we go. <gasps> Skulls and Bigazera right away, taking two lives away from Imperial. It's Vinny and Cello that have gone on down and fallen, Yo. has as well. This is not the pistol that Imperial would have envisioned. Absolutely not. Well, there we have it. It will be Bolts trying to pull one back, but it feels like oh. the round's already over. <laughs> that P2000 looking crispy as you like, oh, only oh, giving up one single frag right there. Smiles all round, very different scenes than the first. Trying to assist towards long, but things getting a little bit spicy over there. Molotov's in towards the position of first. Surely he goes down, and indeed Skulls confirms it. Another five on three in their favor. Let's have to run away with this one. Vinny, you might have something to say about it, though. Nice well, one pick, but Imperial are in a very tough spot still. Two versus four. They'll try and slip out of the tunnels but there's a player boosted on the boxes on the right side and it's just such a strong position especially with the mp9 you just melt yeah just trying to bait out a, a frag if possible but there's the bomb plant so secured the funds he's been playing very well so far as we mentioned 18 kills in that first half can he do anything with this in the meantime they've all grouped up a three pack maneuver difficult purchase just the partial here and uh big uzera looks like he's in a prime position to pick up multiple frags here adam this could get a little bit dicey Channeling his inner fur, and uh, this could be perfect. They're gonna have no idea. Could be the double kill. Confirms the second player makes his way through the B doors and takes him down. Odds out. Easy work there in the B bomb site. Didn't have to break a sweat there whatsoever. They didn't even take any damage in that round. Yeah, this is looking very good. Short away paint. from connecting. Yeah, that's rough. Oh, look at this push forward into the tunnels. The aggressive play from the CT side what? does not go their way. Cello gets a double, and now the call for Imperial to come back is certainly being made, and they're absolutely loving this. Um, well, there you have it. It's that's round over. It's a strange one, that's for sure. No one checked the right hand side. It's round pass and assumed it'd be clear, I suppose. Just uh, 
didn't consider it as an option. And I understand what they're doing. There was a call that two players there were short. They would assume there'd be no chance that anyone would be towards Zappa. But still, just assume you don't have the players here. They're the ones that need to hold on to their money. Imperial, that is. But either way, just one player going down. And uh, there we have it. Nothing too tactical required from the T side. Just hold up on the defaults and uh, allow the frogs to run into it. Bigger zeros. Molly down to Dumbledore. And now takes up close position to try and mow a couple down. It's one for him. PKL gets involved. But good trading coming in here for Imperial. There's a push to the long doors for 15 seconds. It's all about getting the bomb in. And Hartshell's going to hold the window. Bomb rolls down into the site. And Vinny looks to try and arrive to save the day. Hartshell gets a double for finally puts him in the ground. But it's a one versus two. Bomb just about goes down and Fern needs to consider all of his options and unfortunately on the first time of fighting it is Skulls that comes out on top that one really stepping up as of yet hards out challenge once more trying to deploy smoke and Vinny with the opening frag Harzal's trying to get around the back side but it's all the kills for Imperial what a rush into the site just impact found on the initial fights and three picked up forcing the save call of Pink Gaming well Fur's on the other side of things he might try and Take another one of these players down over that. And this is where the hunt almost is worth it because you, the money is on the bottom now. Yeah, I think you might be right so far. As always, down towards long. And now this is the all important frag. Take Zevi down, that's going to hurt. Yeah, they're all coming for it. The hunt is on. Mm, for just waiting. His teammates coming in behind him. And uh, Fallen is the man to secure the pick. set up out towards a long here for the CT starters. You don't really know what info they've got over there. But Imperial, so with a nade strike right onto Hardzow. That's one way of dealing with a close position. Now PKL has all the pressure of the round on his shoulders, and he's handling it quite well. Not cracking until Bolts arrives and cracks too. The skull of Bigozera snapped wide open, and so is the B bomb site. Imperial are in with the bomb. This is looking very good now, but the HP is low for Fallen and Bolt. Choice to save the weaponry, Zebi and Skulls taking the AWP and the M4A1S respectively. It was a good move as well from Imperial to get into the site. They had the absolute monster triple nade set up under that close position, just cleared. In towards the lower tunnel it's here. It's a challenging maneuver though, in towards lower B with the sniper rifle. It angle. is. And it's, you can't really get out of that too easily either. And here comes Bolt. Oh, missed shot. And as soon as you miss a shot that close up to a right foot, you're dead to rights. Absolutely. Bolt will punish that one. <laughs> okay. Nice shot from Fur. We're going to see this round come to its logical conclusion. And uh, Skulls, hards out. Only roll off they've got to save the M4. Hards out doesn't want to join his comrade in the B bomb, so I was trying to get some sort of territory under their remit towards the tunnels. But for now, the hunt is on. Five players alive, starting to encroach on Skull's position. And uh, hasn't got many options here. So if they know where he is at this stage, he's still going to try and maneuver out of this one. Not towards big box for now. Skulls gets caught for kept the AWP and had actually got a kill out of it. Right. So, a split coming through, but it's about skulls in the pit here. Looking for multiple frags, if possible. Ooh. The tap's not working out for cello there. Uncharacteristic mix, and we are going to see Fur fighting back here. The flashbangs are effective, but Zebi's still ready to fight. Smoke to try and scoop up the bomb, but they are running out of manpower here. Yeah, they're trying to boost over the top, but look at this. Zebi getting into the smoke, getting as close as possibly can. Oh, They've run no. right past him. He's got the flank. What a play here from Zebi, and he cleans up both. And with 30 seconds, there are still two CTs inside of this B bomb site. I don't think there's a chance they can really break this one down. They're running through dry and hoping for the best. He can't expend so many bullets there. Down to Big Uzera, needs the double frag. Can't get it done. And it looks like Imperial have done enough here. Zebi, once again in the smoke, in towards CT spawn. And I have to say, yeah, that crossfire was looking so good, but the problem... But Imperial have looked incredible doing it so far. And 14 to 13. You gotta feel pretty rough if you're on pain gaming because you've, you've had a real opportunity. You had such a big lead, and Imperial have just ground their way back into this one. And even though they may be behind shortly, I feel like they're heading into the lead. The impact. Let's see if it's felt. Here we go. The shotgun lying in wait. What can be done here? 
It's the P250 to strike first, and there it is, the double kill. The Swag 7 stepping up, and we're down to a three versus one now. Fallen will have to do everything, but he's got no time. That's it, it's done. Oh, and it is going to be the Mag 7 going for the triple kill. Denied. Setting up the smoke towards the bomb site. Giving himself a little bit of a one way here. A different av avenue of approach with the AWP. A player jumps down there. It's going to be Vinny. He's certainly been hurt. Oh, and does not come out on top. Big Uzera. Great shot. It looks like we might be done here. Five versus three. Missing out on the second opportunity there, but now just two players remain. Uh, Bolts and Fur left alone, and it's uh, all done here. Payton Gaming will be taking map number one. A switch to Dust 2 in the pick since the last time they played and has worked out perfectly for them. They ran supreme yet again on the dusty shores of Dust 2. Given away so far, but as anticipated, it looks to be a, a B finish. They've gone through connector, confirmed there's no CT presence there, but Zevi lying in wait. He's towards short and incredibly sharp today, as you can see there. First shot is his. Significant damage inflicted as well towards Bolts, but he's pulled on back. That's going to be a 4 on 4. So. Continuing their push towards the B-bomb side. It's a little bit scrappy, though. The CT's got more than enough time to rotate in, and the bomb still yet to be planted. Ooh, please be careful, there, chaps. Definitely have to be careful, but the bomb does go down. They get out of dodge, too. One player at least gets back to short, and Imperial can sigh a little bit of, uh, of relief at the moment because they've got themselves into some decent post-plant positions. It's down to Pain Gaming now to swiftly come in with a retake attempt. There is a kill live on PKL, but it all comes down to the fights, and Pigasera winning two of them alongside Skulls. It is just Bolts left alone, and one versus three. Bolts gets one, but it is not going to be capturing lightning in the bottle this time around. It's just the Bolts without it. It's a pistol picked up, and Pain Gaming win the retake. It's a huge... Up here. Well, he anticipate the presence of Long. Oh, Vinny, good headshot, a second of the round, he's really starting to come alive, at least in this one, but Sevi on the Big. double, finally put in the ground, but that's a lot of impact, it's bought a lot of time, and Hardshot comes sweeping up, and you can hear them already, Pin, no, that is shot, isn't it? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Still a lot more work to be done. Oh, well, big is there, good range there on the MP9, but another shot in the Deagle for Imperial. They're still up a player, and this weapon... Should be recoverable. Check out Zevi though. This is a big flank. They seem to be aware could of this. Could go either way. Yeah, this really could. He probably gets the first kill, no problem. But can he keep converting? This is looking very nice. Now, about the armor, he just slices through them like a hot knife through butter. But still, two on two, third low. One minute remaining here. The rifle, perhaps. We'll see which way they're inclined. But great position from Hart out here. Oh! How has he done that? What a shot from Bolts again! He's got the kit available, but time is of the essence, and that kill had to be his, really. Still with a slight chance that they're going to be bolted upon, and that's Burr confirming the eco victory there. They said, we said there was a chance, Adam, but uh, I didn't... Zevi's about to come around the corner, and if he does, he surely loses his head. He's just going to hold for now. Furrow's going to go check his close left corner, and then we'll fight Zevi. With that kill, should be opening up the A side. Wide open now for Imperial. Kyle, that's a P2000 oh. kill. No assist either. Fur just commits to that fight. And they've got the AK-47 there. If they boosted the AK there, could have already been onto something. But P250 swinging out. I think that's the round secure. Unless we'll see PKL do something unspeakable. But not going to happen. Trying to recover the rifle now. Bigu will be moving his way through. But uh, I think he's taken numbered as well. Cello forces him back, and there we have it. One standing on. Overpass can be the slowest map in the pool because there's so much to clear, so much to be methodical about, and the scalpel removes the head of Zevi, and Cello has moved swiftly into the A side. Look how much ground he's got upon this. He might get a second kill here for Imperial, and he will. Pain Gaming, honestly, you might just save this. You're three players in the B-bomb site, nowhere near the A site. Save calls already come through. Fallen goes down. Do they want to hunt further? So Cello seems to think so. Cost him his life. So now they can upgrade the FAMAS to an AK at least. Potentially. Yeah, start clearing and trying to force the CT back to some utility. But look at this. PKL goes forward. Fur is ready with a flash assist from Fallen. It's an easy kill on PKL in the end. And Vigor Zera, the second victim. This time to Cello's gun. And it's just hard Zhao. Trying to run back from long side. His teammates are falling like flies right now. Cello is the fly catcher, and he's got himself another one. Just skulls left alone. One versus five. What a round from Imperial yet again. They seem to be one step ahead of all the setups Payne are presenting at this stage. Molotov right toward that party position. Flushes the CT out. Flashbang behind it as well. And we are going to see a five versus one. He'll give it a go. Skulls 
He's got a double kill. Could make something of it, I suppose, but not meant to be. Chance for Pain Gaming, enough. but once again, just on the back foot, Zebby unable to really dominate at all. Even get stuck in with the sniper rifle whatsoever. Cello waiting with teammates, trying to protect the low HP comrades. There's Vinny on the other side of the equation, though, applying nothing but pressure here. Excellent work from Hardzow and Skulls. At least equalizing things, but back and forth we go. It's unclear who will be taking this one. Bolts with the control of the B-bomb sub, but not for long. They still know Vinny's on this side of the map, but Zebby plucks him out of the sky there. 30 seconds remaining for 6 HP, 2 on 1. Needs to try and take on the AWPer if possible. That would make the most sense, I suppose. HP not a factor at that stage. Might as well try and use his raw aim. Once he's got him buckets and spades this tournament. Making his presence known. Sentry down towards the bank, but should be to finish things off here. And there we have it. Deagle to close things out. So they uh, a few flashes remain. Molotov as well. So no real execution potential here. But they can smoke up heaven at least and Molotov towards the ramp. Maybe even just a contact play at this stage. We'll see Hard Zhao call for the rotation. Skulls there with him. Takes the flash tank to the face. It's going to be a double kill for the CT side. This is looking much better for Fallen. He's still alive and kicking. Three versus two, 20 seconds remaining. CT's rotating in thick and fast. Fallen with control of the bomb site. Bombing is back as well. The Molotov should allow it to go down. Great shot from Zevi. That's what we like to see. And Fallen now needs one of his trademark close range shots to connect. Doesn't happen. And Zevi gets the better of him. Yeah, Zevi able to win through and pain gaming with another round. Starting to string them together. Starting to come alive on the CT side for the first time in a very long time. Yes. That's uh, a nice finish as well. Three players surviving. Remember, they're on the back foot financially as well. Sprinkled through. Cello oh, from bathrooms is the death place of him. Cello goes down to the AWP of Zevi. Zevi's going to drop out of that. Doesn't want to stick around and get caught in position. Fury will go fighting. It's further comes into the toilets and is able to fight the AWP and win it. He's been so good, hasn't he, Fur? The boost as well here. Oh, they don't spot it, but they seem to be aware of the potential. You can see the crosshair placed in that position. Fur Fallen will be waiting for his opportunity here now the boost is a little bit awkward so once the smoke dissipates it's going to dismount round still great shot because they starting to really come to light flashbang coming in 25 seconds all that's going down 20 and now they've got to go pkl gets caught not ready for able to rip him apart does he expect the second player to be on the dice wow. box? Well, now he has to because Big Ozera has ripped apart his team. And now with 10 seconds left, for the only player can't do anything about it and has to run away out long. Great shots from Fur once again. Pinpoint precision, but it's Big Ozera, man. Three massive kills there. Falling back to the defensive line. Nice little flashback. I don't think he'll peak again. And they're actually going for commitment of this. Footsteps are heard and easy pickup. They're a little bit disjointed here, Adam. I yeah, don't like that rough. at all. No, that's not good enough, really, for Imperial. I'm not sure that was intended. I feel like one of them spotted a gap and was trying to and then take you advantage you go, of it. Everyone else has yeah, to go. You, you kind of have to drag everyone in. But you, you, well, those sort of trades, you need to be at least like a couple of feet. Next. Six rounds, okay here on the T side, but you want a bit more with how this thing started. There we have it. Pain. Tying things up. Six to six. It's a prime position here. They flash over though, is vulnerable to it. But he's just trying to bait in his teammate in the corner. That's what it's all about. If he just gets one, that's that's kind of enough to be honest with you. You can see there's yeah. the swing. They've got a four versus two. That should be round completed. They know where Fallen is and they can challenge as well. So they take the lead. That's actually a pretty simple finish. Good time to operate. I want to see uh, execution. So straight up wall bang from Vinny there. That's nasty. Well, that's one way to get an opening kill, isn't it? Now Zevi, his turn inside of the bathroom, spots the hand of his opponent to Noor. He's down shallow. Two goes to second on Vinny. And Zevi might get three here. He oh goes for it. He nearly gets it, but the shot just whizzes past. Fallen at least keeping flashbangs being deployed momentarily. The bomb trying to be planted here. Flashbangs a little bit awkward. The CT strike. And now just one player remaining towards A, but he's locked out. Nine seconds, and Imperial have managed their way onto the site. The bomb goes down, and for the first time in a while, it's down to a retake scenario. Pain Gaming trying to come up to the stone where they've taken so much damage and PKL no longer fit for battle. He is out. It's just Skulls left alone coming up the stairway. They know exactly where he is and this makes this round so difficult. The Imperials slowly slink their way towards this A bomb site. Bombs out long on the back of the real Fallen. Inferno just having a look towards the truck. It's PKL.
Well, that headshot, Bolt's coming in with one, and PKL doubles up in the FAMAS. 20 seconds left, an important kill found for Bolt. No! Oh, what a turnaround from Fallen. It rounds at the half for him. Pushing off towards short, and they've ripped themselves towards Monster, so... Not really sure who'll come out on top yet. It's going to be the opening frag for Skull. Surely makes a bit of a meal of it. Vinny and Fallen strike back, and they've got the advantage. Smoked out for now, though. Trying to get that bomb down if possible. It's going to be a scramble. You might even push the smoke here. And that's a clean kill in the end from Hards Out. Bomb planted. Not yet, actually. PKL is looking around the back of the smoke. There should have been yeah. a kill, but Fallen gets a knife. What's going on? PKL had no idea. And Fallen just gets a knife kill. Now, did he miss some shots there? Everyone else is sitting back on the sights. Vinny's going to be the information gatherer. He has an idea, and he might get a timing here, and he's able to get away with one. Although the rifle commitment from Bolt's forward, not good enough. Doesn't get a pick, and that leaves a big opening on this B side. Enough to call for Fur back, but Fur has an MP9. What does he want to do from this range? There's two MP9s defending the B bomb site right now. It's not ideal, is it? Not exactly the setup you're looking for in a big gun round here. 40 seconds remaining, flashbangs being expended. Suggesting they could be going elsewhere. We do see the big man, Big Uzera, holding towards the bathrooms. Fallen, though, this is what we're talking about in terms of a prime position oh, for gone. himself. He has actually been removed. And speaking of which, Cello has as well. For all far remains. Their money is still very strong. The CT side, this was definitely a bonus round, right? But with the AWP investment, that was significant. I don't think you're able to get the off back. That's the problem. They can pick it up on the T side, surely, though. So, yeah, the T side. Rebby will be it. happy with that. Yeah, he will be very happy. But initial engagement. I think the mistake comes to Bolts' commitment is nail biter of a finish in this round. One that needs to be perfect for the T side. If Fur can delay, if he can bring down a few members as pain T side alongside Fallen, but Fur commits long. It's now just Fallen left alone and he is caught in the open. Hung out to Cello. Try. And Cello, look at this. This okay. is wild. Oh, nice idea. Really could have been the saboteur of their plans there, but unable to deny the plant. It will be a four on two, and Pain Gaming win a massive round. Just plenty of percentages here. But we mentioned earlier, you know. Okay, Imperial lo love to play overpass, certainly is their pick whenever they get the opportunity to do so, but by no. More tall in towards top mid. Zevi cannot challenge early because of the utility cutting him off, but he will be allowed to cross in towards the playground. And Fallen is going down into the connector. Now we know he loves some close fights, but this fight, a little close and personal for him. PKL's come in with a headshot, but luckily Fur is there, and he will get a double. Recovers the AWP. Huge work from Fur. Skulls, no choice but to try and challenge him, but he's already nice held it back towards the A bomb site. So a nice little bait and switch there from Fallen. Even though he went down, it gives him the man advantage with the follow up bragging there from Fur. A huge round, has to be said. Scavs take a risk here and there, I think. Can't really do anything too strategic. I don't think they'll be anticipating this. You don't see this boost too often, to be honest with you. Not these days, at least. And the flashbang, though, it's perfect. Allows them to at least reach the site. And they now know there's two players in that position. Yeah, it's great work. And, uh, I mean, coming through, just tapping him off the top of it. Imperial in a really tough spot, having to play a retake here. A pin to put the bomb down. Is there a kit? There is. There's one. It's on the one? back of Fern, yeah. so keep track of that. Utility is another factor here. The brunt of a hero on cello. He's going to start setting it up, trying to limit some of the positions they could be playing from, making their lives a little bit easier. But that time is ticking. Over halfway gone now. Dropping down into the site. It's one for the T's, one for the CT's. Back and forth we go, but Pain Gaming are certainly in the better position. First, oh. goes for the no scope, tries his best, but it's not going to be happening. He goes down, and a celebration from Pain certainly being heard. Very, very tense round there. It all started with that double stack. Five seconds, Chella's moved into water, and it means Bolts has to really deliver here. He has to dig deep. All the pressure on his shoulders to make sure that the B-Bomb site does not crumble. He's taking damage left, right, and center. Fallen gets one, but PKL and Hardzell. Now Bigger Zero as well, just chiming in, and Pain Gaming have the round. Set back, Graffiti, and even that is given away. <clears throat> That's comfy, isn't it? Is he going to be ready for this? Is he going to have his gun out? He will have a, some sort of awareness Fur. for it, but Bigger Zero has gone forward, but it has set up Fur with a distraction. He's come in with one, <gasps> and a second found for Fur. Oh, no, they don't even check the bathroom. 
They don't even consider it. Once they just kill Fallen, it's like, let's hop onto the site and throw his hat in front of him. That's the bomb as well. This is the all important one. Lining up a smoke. Hards out. Skulls will find a kill, but that's it. That should be the round. Almost round. no chance now for Zevi. Yeah, great round there from Fur. And uh, obviously, this game is going to go right to the edge. It as always it usually does. does, doesn't it? Good job from Fur. Recovers the AWP as well. He's feeling it. He is feeling very confident. He might just run into a big battle here. All bats are ready, Ooh. and Sevi, incapable of dealing with the pressure, is big as zero that at least trades it out, but Fur is here too. Are they ready for a second player to come around this corner? He's been an absolute beast so far, more than willing to bat, so he hasn't been super aggressive like we saw against Isaris. We should point that out. He was pushing towards Blake on every single round. Aggressive this time. Doesn't work out from his skulls that will send him to the grave. And now a four versus three, but Fallen, the master of overpass. Oh, Bolts has gone too. Map. Where was that? On the B bomb site, I saw monster. The AK-47 though, thinking on his feet here, not going to be enough. They know Fallen's elsewhere. Want to be planted. He can win these though. He's known for infamous clutches and overpass. Especially from this position. Yeah, you're right. Fallen looking for it. Is he ready to blow your mind? He is. I'm sure of it. Absolutely. Fallen's just waiting for the first opportunity to come, but look at this. Pain Gaming are so disciplined, they're not giving him a single fight, and eventually it's all Fallen to make the go. move! The first is quick, now he's honed in, now he's looking for the second. His prey cowers behind the dice box, over the top though, Big Azara uses the vantage point to peer on down. Oh, I was getting uh, deja vu there. The position, the first shot, is like, this is actually this happening. At this stage, it's going to be be approached by the looks of things. Skull's gonna get up on top of his teammate's head. Have a little peer down into the B site. Not seeing too much right now, Skull's, and oh, they've lost their teammate, Cello. Opens up again. Imperial have the first kill, and Skulls is close, but he's not getting the chance, and oh, that was it. Good try. That was the one opportunity to get it back. Certainly a nice try, but oh. Zebi, he's pulled it back. The smoke kill. Oh, oh PKL. <laughs> hunts down Fallen, and that was opened up the B site entirely. There's Vinny under so much pressure here. They're not going to accelerate with it. They're held back by the fire, and Vinny's going to move forward. Still anyone's round here. Zebi with the AWP, but incredibly low on health. Same story for Hard Zhao as well. Four versus three. HP advantage, though, for Imperial. We'll see. 40 seconds, read on the clock. And this is a huge moment. Skulls might have to step up here, challenging towards short. It's Fur investigating. The bathrooms once again, crucial part of the map. It looks like they're posturing towards Monster once more. Impossible to tell who comes out on top here, but what a shot that is. That is incredible. Hard Zhao just lands it right between the so eyes. Now we can see him actually forcing the issue in towards A. Trying to suggest that's where they're going, but the CTs aren't having any of them. And now they go forward into Bolts. Bolts with oh one no. and a second. Could this be the big step up from Bolts? It certainly is. Now it's just hard down on 2 HP with no time. That is a massive hole from Bolts. One that came out of nowhere, and one that they've been asking for for a very long time. Yeah, that is massive. They don't take the bait whatsoever. They hold strong towards the B bomb side. Maybe overthinking the situation there. Pain trying to suggest they're getting in towards going in favor of Imperial, but AK 47, three tech nines, and a deal out for Pain. Oh, for another opening added to the collection, and what could be the tipping point for this map to showing fights bigger Zara through middle. The dramatic music there, it's building. Building the tension, setting the scene. Because Zara down, and presumably pain out of the running here for overpass. What have they got left to say about this one? It's Imperials round to throw away. I can't even really speculate as to what they could do. They've got nothing really. Three pistols, an AK, a couple of smokes. In terms of map control, they've done okay. They've got to get past the final boss. Fallen, a bomb site, AWP, an iconic duo. PKL investigates the long position. Time becoming a factor here as well. It would be a great way to finish if Fallen was to have one of his 
classic bathroom opening in performances, but it's Furrow that's actually just nipping away, taking player after player, and Fallen won't be doing anything in this round. In fact, he's down in the ground. And here comes Hard South, moving forward, using the smoke as some cover to get into the site, but getting into the site, you might have to take down Shello, and that is easier said than done. And I think you sweep this one up, Henry. I think we're heading to map three in just a moment. I think you might be right. You're onto something there. Shello confirms it. It's going to be 16 14, close as you like. And we split it right down the middle. One map apiece now. Vertigo up next, and Imperial have done it. They remain in the tournament for now. And flashbang, the smoke. Opting for the B side of the map to kick things off here. Now the smoke deployed, and early battles coming through. It's Imperial with the lion share. Four kills in total, and uh, could be a clean sweep. PK will deny that prospect at least, but that B rush is completely shut down. That was a bit crunchy, wasn't it? That was uh, that was something, all right. Very quick there from Cello, a good double, and now PKL left alone. He'll have a little look around, but I think he is destined to die, and Fur will confirm that. Pistol for it's Imperial. Vinny, can he hold it? Zevi's about to walk towards him, and Zevi will clear Vinny out. It's now Bolt who has to do the heavy lifting, and he's got to really strike exactly where he needs to go here. Did a lot oh. of damage, but no kills, and that's not good enough yet, Henry. Apparently not. They still got a fighting chance in this one, though, as Fur will swing around from the generators here down to Cello, one of the star players, unable oh, to deliver the good. Yes, Fallen was alone there, but now Cello's there. Oh, he spots him. Cello! Oh, oh he's no. too wide! Oh, Zevi's right beneath him! What are him. you up to, lads? That's Zevi, not good maybe enough. Maybe try around that one? Yeah, maybe try that another time. Send that one back to the drawing board. Ooh. Yeah, that's not gone well at all. Well, at least it was a bit of an eco here, Adam. That's all I can say. Yeah, that's true. Uh, something positive, I guess. There we have it. Maybe it was just a bit of a compromise setup, maybe like because they're eco, they didn't have the correct players, and that's out of the map. I don't know. But uh, bolts will be saving the AK. That's something. They entered with an M4. They leave it an AK. At least it's an upgrade. It's a bullet thrown down range. But oh, a great shot. Bolts can do nothing about it. Yeah, I mean that's usually such a strong position, but the fact he just tears through it is impressive. One kill at least found for Fallen, but they're still down a player here in 30 seconds left. Vinny's inside of the site. They're trying to pinch him from two sides. They'll be successful in doing so. There's now Fur and Cello left. And two versus three. To win the tranche, you must retake that B bomb site. Gaming will be willing to pick as well. And it's a third map decider. Oh, they're finding some important frags to close things out here as well. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies. Apparently my, my voice started to give way now, having to cough. We don't have a cough button here. <laughs> so presence, you and you'll throw that smoke on out. PKL goes for the bottom ramp peak and loses it to Cello, but a very quick trade from Picozera. And Vinny pulls a nade out in the open, gets exposed, and then the peak over the top of the stairs. A numerical value to it. It like, doesn't really make any sense. Don't know why they didn't upgrade that. Makes it a little bit more interesting in that sense. But nice spray down from Hards Out. Should be enough to close things out. They remove the M4. Four in a row, as mentioned. After losing the pistol, let's say, like, you're going to freestyle that one. Better <laughs> be pretty sure where it's going. I always try to freestyle smokes. It never goes well. Skull's charging forward. Look at that. Bolt's just swept under the rug. He presented much in terms of coordination or really taking control of the air ramp. Have they? Sure, no. they've had four, uh, fur pushed down a couple of times when they had the uh, weapon advantage, but we haven't seen one of those really coordinated assaults where you're molotoving them back, double nading them into corners. Um, hasn't been anything like Wise that. But, uh, so, like, Fur couldn't even fire like some covering shots for him. Down he goes as well. This is a shambles yeah. at this stage. Uh, yeah, we, we've seen Imperial kind of switch off sometimes at this event so far, and they generally wake up towards the end. But you can't let them get much more than they've already got here on the T side. They're gonna try and defend this A site as much as they can. Fallen gets away with one, but four versus two. You haven't denied the bomb plant, and you don't have utility. And it's Vinny and Bolt's left alive. Two players if not really been in this one. Vinny might try and get a better gun, but even in doing so, just puts himself in harm's way and dies. Yeah, rough one. That was that was quite hard to watch. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like something happened, um, there oh. it is, through the smoke. We'll take that. All day. Yeah, something. Another opening, but as you pointed out earlier, they've lost a lot of rounds to get the opening kill. And Vinny the on the B site, unable to hold on. Oh, and Cello job. goes down and made a lovely shot from Hard Zhao and Another great round here from Pain Gaming. I think Fallen gets one more. Well, apparently not Hard Zhao takes care of him. That's the M4 removed, but at least Fur is he has scooped bomb. up an AK-47. <laughs> yeah, she has the bomb, Henry. He didn't get that kill, though, did he? So he won't be aware of it necessarily. If he pushes forward, you... There is a, they need to make sure they do this properly. Like he's, oh, it's actually quite alarming that he's gone so far with this one. 
to spice out the first victim. And there's the bomb. He's seen, him. he's seen the bomb now, and now he's defended him with everything Ooh, he's got. God, there was a chance. If he got the second there, Henry, that was the round, though. Maybe speaking too soon now. Ferb, up close. Good flashback. No way. Oh, no way. Fur goes down. Oh, that's unfortunate. It that is. That one's just straight up unlucky. Sevi is just over the smoke. Bolt's trying to fight, but it's just one kill. Not enough done here for Imperial. Vinny. You're just going to be in a spot where you might just lose your rifle. He is under a lot of pressure here, Vinny. Just desperately trying to wipe up the grip of his gun. And he dies as in well. in trouble. They're fumbling a lot here with the smoke grenades. But uh, smoke to the right, smoke to the left. Molotov towards boost. Flashes in. CT is lying in wait. They're ready for this one. Miss Molotov. Vinny uh, starting to spray down. But all of his teammates are gone. Ow. And the smoke kill. That's wild. Oh, it's just so... Un it's so uneasy to watch it's just ridiculous that was unfortunate just a crunch again yeah and it looked like uh pain were kind of fumbling that one they're kind of sc scrambling in the time was low but oh nice shot from Paul. yeah lovely be shot enough he'll still have to reload if he gets this frag but there we have it 92 yeah. spot if there's any boost come underneath him it's going to be heavy towards b vinny will be tested here with the odds first is good second even better and vinny is doing a great job here to be going in their favor, otherwise you can pretty much call this one done. Because Zara is playing towards generator utility coming up. Here comes the swing, right into the fight. Bigger Zara got a double, and somehow, some way, he gets two out of that. Bolts luckily sweeps up two, and it's all down to PKL. One player to take two lives, and he's done it. PKL clutches it out, and Imperial failed to convert. So, uh, like the idea of the AK, you have to do something with that. Here we go, Cello. Answering back, and they've actually got a double kill here. So, looking promising now. Should be the first gun round. Finally, it arrives in their favor. I don't get a bit ahead of myself, but that should confirm it. Nice work. Yeah, because Zara just left alone. Imperial should be confirming their third round in just a moment. 11-4 is the best possible half they can get out of this now. Oh, kill given away there by Vinny. 35 seconds. Because Zara's fancying his chances here somehow. He's, uh... Now slipping back in the T-spawn, he's not feeling the B-flight. And maybe the AK going into middle instead here for Big Azera. At this point, such a little time to win the round, so... He's gonna go and find a nice comfy spot to, to sit in with the AK most likely here. He's actually going for it, Henry. <laughs> he's not gonna make it there. Cello covered him off Probably towards just. double. Cello achieved those 10 kills very early on in this half too. PKL and Fur go one for one. Passive here from Imperial. They have had some very aggressive maneuvers down the ramp. But just playing this four versus four out. From a sap bag. Oh, here we go, falling. Finally, needs some information. Decides it's the short play that he needs to go with, and he gets aggressive. He finds the kill down the towards the bottom of the ramp. And here comes Fur around the corner. He's got himself the pick, falling alongside of him. Nice little recovery towards the end of the half here for Imperial, but not enough done, really, just yet. Not quite, but uh, looking much better. Fragging first, headshot lands, but no death found. It's going to be PK down to 15 points of health. You have a defuse kit, but uh, it's first, striking first. A good pick here. Imperial holding the advantage. Look at the hold up to the pistol they so desperately need. Fur gets the second kill, and that puts them inches closer now. And yeah, it's looking very good for Imperial just to walk away with this. They're trying their best to get back in here, Pin. They will get a couple of kills towards the end. Time was starting to become limited, and they really didn't do enough to get. Molotov going in towards the back of the sandbox. Here goes PKL on the peak. I thought he was about to be the player that found the first, but it's actually a bigger zero that's used to right go that one. Fall and going forward goes actually down to the bigger zero for Mass as well alongside PKL. Imperial's first attempt to get up the ramp hasn't gone so well. There's still a fighting chance, I suppose. This kill would have to come through, but not meant to be. They walk right in. Supreme over the ramp again. Again, using this gap in the tarp. You can just see through that. And he's going to use it to his advantage because Zero swings, does damage onto the second player, too. And this is just a master class, really, between these two players. You see what I mean? It comes in again, spammed through the tarp. Look at the mountain of bodies there, the human rubble waiting at the bottom. 
And just far remains, and might as well just see what he can make of it. Probably gets one kill. Not, not meant to be. And that's They're ranked 23 and 20th in the world. So that's just to show you they are neck and neck in terms of overall ratings. Skulls, good, good, good flash there from Fallen. Skulls is in a position that is compromised by a single flash, and we're at a 3v3 with these kills initially at the one minute mark. From Pain Gaming, it's Big Ozera with the execution. Headshot onto Vinny. He still has an incendiary as well. Smoke is up at least, oh, no. but denial of the bomb plant. Fallen was overextended. Oh, and that's the round. Bolts can't get towards the bomb. He There's can't. no way. Yeah. He's 14 rounds now for Pain. And Bolts is everyone. The so Molly goes full. Good call. And PK on Big Zero. I gotta get two out of it. Oh, hard sell with another. This is it. This is the moment where it's all crumbling for Imperial, Cello, and Bolts. The last two remaining players. And Pain Gaming just need to secure their lives to grab a grand final spot. And now just Cello goes into the battle. A single kill found. And for to stay alive in this competition, for at least one more round, Cello needs to pull off some miracles. <sighs> all said and done here, but looks at things. Galil, Bowman is back, 50 HP. And uh, almost no hope of winning it, but we'll see what Cello can make. Perhaps the best player, but there it is. That's the end of the run for Imperial. One of the favorites to make it to the final, maybe take the whole tournament, really. Will be taken down by...